Good morning, everybody. Today we're in Chorley Wood. A new day, a new job, a new dollar. Retaining walls, beautiful flame textured sandstone in 600 by 900 units. Day two on the job. Well, yesterday we marked out, we measured, we ruminated and cogitated about what's going where and how. And it's quite an awkward site really because we've got very, very small gates. So we can't get a machine in here. So we're gonna do everything by hand. At the bottom of the garden in the corner, that big tree is gonna come out. We've got self compacting gravel to make an occasional use area, cocktail table and chairs. Tidying the bottom of this corner up. And we're, we're making good all of this block paving. Beautiful acer tree. Look at this, this is absolutely incredible. We're making good the continuation of that wall around there. We've got some nice reclaimed yellow stock brick that are gonna be used for that. This is all gonna be faced up with yellow stock bricks to sort of keep in line with the tradition of the local surroundings. There's lots of reclaimed materials here. The main terrace is gonna be a short space from the actual house. It's not really needed. It's more of a walkway down here, but too small, it looks rubbish. 2.4 meters, perfect, works out with paving sizes so we don't have lots of silly cuts. It then opens out into a sweeping terrace. It's a beautiful arrangement of steps coming down in the corner, surrounded by some beautiful planting. Beautiful retaining wall at the end, again in yellow stocks with some nice natural stone as a coping, some lighting, and that will be the main focal point of the garden in terms of terracing. The paving doesn't just come across here, but we're going to take all of this out. The paving is going to sweep around this corner. All of this is coming out. We're going to build this grand set of steps here that'll be slightly wider as you, as you come down the staircase. You can walk down in any any direction and once all of this is out this will widen this space up and make it much more usable and then we're using these pillars and this arch as a natural stop because on this side we've got a different type of material we've got van der Mortel paving in a couple of colors look at these the contrast between these two blocks is going to be absolutely amazing laid on their side we've got the two different colors one because we don't want to be over imposing with bright garish colors and so we've got this sort of burnt umber color that is hints of purples and browns and i think that's quite an interesting block and that does actually work with the house and it does give a contrast to the yellow stock and that's why we've got these yellow van der Mortel bricks. What we've actually got here is these old York stones. They're about 60 mil thick. I think they look absolutely incredible. We're going to use these to create a pattern in the self-binding gravel in the corner uh, of the garden. The client wanted to create a hedge across the front garden and so we're going to be taking out all of this foliage. Wish we could reuse it somewhere but it's quite big and it's going to be difficult to dig these plants up of this size and reuse. But nevertheless all of this is going to get redone. Follow me. Now the topography of this obviously slopes down from the road. We've got small retaining walls and we've got this little drop in here that allows the airflow to the air bricks that we can't block so the redesign of this is going to be very similar to what we've got at the moment this wall's in better days and the bright red bricks don't really work that well with the reclaimed imperial yellow stock so that wall is actually going to come out and we're going to redo it much much nicer and much more in fitting with this beautiful tudor style property this was once a garage and so this is the main drive they can get a car here parking in this road is at a premium so we're going to lose the gates redo the piers and with these two great big shrubs this is going to open out into a nice slope here we obviously need to manage where the water goes and so we've got an echo drain coming across the front here and again all of this is going to work in the same two colors of and mortal paving i hope you follow us next time for updates and and obviously the culmination of this spectacular project we're going to be here for about six weeks or so but it's quite a sensible project hope you like it hope you like it as much as i do